Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. In this episode, we will learn about how do you set up your local development environment similar to the business application studio for developing UI5 and Fury applications. Many of you have asked me a question after the retirement of SAP Web IDE that if you want to develop applications locally in our computer, Apart from the Eclipse and the Web IDE personal edition, what are all the other options do we have? So we will explore a step-by-step -step options today to see how can you set up a tool which is having same look and feel like BAS. In fact, the BAS is same look and feel like tool VS Code and also use that for our UI5 development. So we will look at installing also the tooling which is required to set up your local environment for developing UI5 app. Now, goal of this video is not to show you UI5 development basics. For that, you can check my other tutorials. But the goal here is to, if you have an application which is built using Eclipse or Web IDE, how can you make that run locally in a VS Code environment? So let's get started with the steps of this session, what we're gonna see. So in the first step, what I'm gonna show you today is how to set up VS code. Then in the next step, we will see create a new empty folder. And install UI5 tooling. In the third step, we will add the folder to our workspace. Or before that, we are going to see how can we create a new project from human templates, which is already done by me. I've created a human template, which will give you a auto-generated application with some demo data to test. Then we add the folder to our workspace into VS Code. And with SAP UI5 tooling, we can run the app locally. Now, before we start this tutorial, a quick prerequisite. You must have to have Node.js installed in your system. Which is version 10 or above. Yeah, so I'm using 10 and above and that's where I've tested it works fine. So let's see the steps. So first step is to go and install Node.js for which you can go to nodejs.org. And that's where you can download the latest version of the Node.js in your system. And once it gets installed, you can go to command prompt and check node space dash version command, uh, sorry, V command to check the version of the Node.js. I am having version 10 which is pretty lower than what we are having available on Node.js website. So just wanted to show it works on lower version also. Yeah. As a next step, you can just go ahead and install VS Code. So I will give these links all in the description of this video. You can also just check. So the first link here is this Node.js. The second is to install the VS Code. To do that, you have to go to the Microsoft's Visual Studio website. It's a free tool. You can install depending on your operating system. Yes. Then in the next step, we have to just create an empty folder somewhere in our computer. I've done that already on my F drive, desktop, XSA, uh, project CF and empty. Just an empty folder I've created in which I will be doing my exercise. Yeah. The next step is after doing this, you have to launch your command prompt and install the UI5 tooling. So documentation for UI5 tooling is also available here. You can see sap github.io slash UI5 tooling pages CLI. So this is a command line interface for SAP UI5 to set up UI5 projects, build them, uh, and also build them for production as well as run them locally in your machine, right? So this offers you a built-in server which can then run your UI5 app and handle the response. So let's go back to the system and install first the UI5 command line tool. We can say npm install dash g, g stands for global SAP UI5 
uh, I think UI5 slash CLI. So I can cross check if this is the correct command. You can see yes here npm install at the rate UI5 CLI and I press enter. So this installs globally a command line interface tool in my local machine so I can use UI5 commands. It's added. Now you can say UI5 help and it shows you the list of all the UI5 commands which you can use to initialize a project, to start the project, to use the framework info, use versions, different options we have it here. So very first, now we will create a project using Yeoman. So now I will install the Yeoman in my machine. So for that, I'll use npm install dash g globally install yo. So that's going to install Yeoman in my local machine. Yeoman is a scaffolding, uh, a scaffolding tool which will quickly generate the project artifacts depending on your need. So I have already created a human project for all of you to get started and test this exercise. The detail about that human project is given in my another video here. Explore the power of BAS scaffold with human and BAS. So this video is important for you all. I will put the link into the description of current video where you will see what is human and how to use human template. But I'll not go much detail in human in this video. So now the yeoman is added and next step is to create um, now the uh, the UI5 yeoman template based project on my local machine and I will first install a npm install yeoman generator dash g globally and the name is generator dash anubhav fiori basic or is it basic fiori let's check yeah I think that's the one so no it's basic fury and now you will see it installs the fury basic to my local machine as a global in uh, global module so you can see it's installing and once the installation gets over i've got also my human template next so i will put all these commands step by step in the description of current video so you'll not have any problem to set up all these things. Next step is we use yo command. Yo command will start my human generator and it checks all the installed uh, human templates. And you can see I have a Anubhav basic theory already present. Yeah. So you can just use this and it will ask you a couple of questions. What's going to be your project name? So I'll say Anubhav theory. Enter. Do you want to create a new directory? Yes, I do want. What is your namespace of the project? Let me press enter to keep it anubov.app. Then what's your module project? It's okay. And now I see it generated a simple UI5 project with demo data for me. Wow, that was awesome. So you don't have to get started with anything from scratch. So if you go back to my computer folder, I have got a new folder called Anubov Fiori. This is a simple demo application which I prepared for you all to scaffold and test this exercise. Now the next command is I already have a UI5 YAML file, which is an initializer file. But if you don't have it and you are using your own project, you go inside the directory. So, and then you say run a command called UI5 init. This is going to create a UI5 YAML file, yeah, which is UI5 deployment descriptor. You can see when I run, it gives me an error because it's already there, no problem. So, as a next step is we want to now add this project which is generated into local VS code. So I have a VS code environment already running on my local machine and it's easy to just grab drag and drop it on VS code. And wow, I've got my entire project web app directory. I've got my views. I've got my utilities, styles, models, itinerary, fragments, formatters. Yes, everything, whatever you learned in our UI5 training is right here along with component GS and manifest. So that's our project. It's ready and you can see UI5 YAML is just basic information about this UI5 application. At the same time, you've got a package JSON which includes the uh, different components. Uh, if you are working with Cloud Foundry, then you would need app router and the HTML5 repo. So that's something it's a cloud cloud project. So we don't need perhaps these, but it's a good practice to just do an npm install on this directory. So I will right click and now I will say open this in a terminal. 
and this is where I'm just going to run npm install command which is going to install all the modules locally in my computer before I start my web server to test my UI5 app locally. So let's run this. It'll take a few seconds to install all the required dependency on my local computer. And then I can say clear. Now, once it's done, let's come back and run a command UI5 so And boom, it's gonna start now a web server locally in your system with port 8082. And you can just do a control and click and your application will get started locally. Wow. And you can go to index HTML and there you go. You have a full fledged UI5 application running in your local machine with demo data. Of course, you can go back now and do the changes according to the need you have. So I can go back to my view. Maybe I want to change this view one and view two title. So let's go back to view two and then you can just change the view to title let's say detail view and i can come back to view one and i say master view just save it come back and reload and now you can see the title has been changed fantastic additionally you can add plugins for easy development and you can search for ui5 plugins here into the uh, into the system into the bass and now you see advanced snippets you have explorer language assistance some of them are really developed by sap you see sap oss yes yeah some of some are developed by non sap uh, people so you can just see whichever the most suitable one you are looking forward for you can you can really use so maybe i would i can go and install these some of these plugins you can see also the information how to use these extensions and plugins yes different properties and configuration to start using them and you can just use these commands accordingly so it will give you code completion and xml namespace a lot of these benefits are there which you can use so if you can come back now to my view and if you start writing the code for example just try to add a new file I said demo.vu.xml. Then I would also get now the code completion. Yes, there you go. You can see all the UI5 code completion is now available locally in VS Code. Yes. So I can say view. Yes. XML namespace core. AI core MVC. XML namespace SAP.m. And as I go along, I get full control on the code completion. Yeah, so you can say button and there you go. You can see it shows you the button code, control space, and you see all the properties of the button are available, including the events. And that's the benefit of adding the extra bit of plugins to your VS code. So if very similar bass like environment is now available to you, to, to work with the with the locally uh, locally running VS code environment which gives me a kind of a comfort level to work with the with the project now as a next step you would want to perhaps work with git then um, how do you push pull the code when work with the github please watch my video on bass git working with git and then you will also be aware of that as well so that way you can fully run your entire application UI5 pages and applications locally in VS Code environment using UI5 tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe this channel and share it with your friends so they can also get started with UI5 development locally in the VS Code, which is a very similar environment looks like Bass in the local machine. Thank you so much for watching. For detailed training on UI5, don't forget to subscribe our course on anuboutrainings.com. With that, Anubo signing out. Thank you and see you.